I wanted to ask you a little bit more about your writing activities. I know you belong to some writing groups for women of color, um, and there have been reports about the publishing industry and its diversity problem. I was wondering, how does that affect you as a writer and, and your craft in particular? Ooh, um, you know, I when I think about um, writing as a person of color, writing as a woman, um, I do feel that no matter what I'm writing, it it's political. Um, even if it's not overtly political, even if I'm just writing about my life, which I usually am. Um, because there are mainstream narratives that we get usually, um, and I'm not in them. Um, or, you know, people who, there aren't as many people who look like me who are in them. And so I feel like just putting myself out there and, and being who I am um, and being present and saying, you know, like, I also have stories to tell is a political act. Um, and I, I become a little bit, I've become a little bit more pers uh, po political um, the more I've seen uh, what happens with other writers of color. Um, being in writer of color communities, I've heard so many stories. Like, I personally have been very lucky. Um, I've had writing instructors of color or people who are very supportive. Um, nobody has ever told me, you know, the story that you're telling is not the story we want to hear. But I've heard so many of my friends in writing programs say things like, um, oh my gosh, like, there's just so many stories. Uh, let's see, people being told that um, there was someone who, who had a lot of Tagalog words in her story and I think there was a, a fellow student in her MFA program who said that he was just not interested in reading these words or trying to get into that world even though this is you know, a, her world and a world that exists in the world. Um, I've heard of writers submitting novel manuscripts um, to publishing houses and, and the publishers tell them things like, well, we already have a Chinese story um, this year, so we're not gonna publish your book. And I hear a lot of stories like that and it's really upsetting because the world is such a diverse place um, and that's not always reflected in the kind of arts, culture, and media that, that is available to us. It's not even like, um, you know, people aren't reading these stories, but it's, there are just certain stories that are being told over and over again, and certain stories that are not even out there. Um, and I feel really strongly about it. And that's also why this book is really cool, and independent publishing is really cool, because it raises up some of these voices so that they can be heard by a larger audience and, um, eventually they'll end up shaping what we think of as the mainstream narrative and stories that should be told. Um, hopefully, you know, eventually um, what we can read and consume will actually end up reflecting what the world looks like.